No Name Nationals is over and we failed to get the Pinto done in time. We haven't really worked on the Pinto. We got to we got to deal with this car. Uh we got problems with the overhead door here, the coil spring or whatever you call it, the assisting spring is broke. So you got to kind of help the door up and we can't, it can't be having that. So we got to get these vehicles out of here so we don't like drop a freaking 50 year old wooden door on my car. Um, now we stole the carburetor off the Mach 1, Mach 1 um, to quickly put on the Pinto and we found issues with the Mach 1. So let me show you what those are just to remind you in case you didn't see it on the other video but there is some effery going on in there so we need to come up with a solution and I don't believe there's any solution on the market to put standard four, four barrel carburetor on the 73 Mach 1 uh, 4V um, Cleveland engine. So let's get this hood open I'll show you what's going on. All right, so this is the EGR plate that I pulled off of there. And on the back side, they had like a cardboard box cut for a gasket with all this crap on here. And you can see it's rotted. It's probably it was some of my weird engine sounds that I was having and rough, rough running kind of stuff that I had going on. But you notice how them bores are spread out. Kind of crazy. I think they're sped up more than the Quadrajet. I don't know. I've never seen one. But uh, I've looked up like a Edelbrock Performer intake to put on here, and I I just don't have I don't have three hundred dollars or whatever it is for a used one now with Bidenomics going on. Um, to buy one of those. So I think we have to stick with the stock manifold, which the older I get, the more I'd like to keep this thing stock anyway. So, um, we got to pull this manifold to clean the rust out of the inside anyway, but so we need to adapt to a standard carburetor what the, what the, man this sucks look at all this crap it doesn't even feel I don't know <laughs> but you can see whatever this EGR crap is I don't know where it's supposed to be getting is there a hole right there wherever it's supposed to be getting Exhaust gases from it don't do that anymore. So we need to clean that up and design something to block this off. Got these tubes here that don't do anything anymore. Get, I think they make a block off plate for that. But get this all if that's matching number there can't I think that's a, I think that's a three yeah oh it's a 73 the right one for the for the car but this is gonna be a quick project um, <laughs> quick. I don't know if there's a quick project anymore, but we're going to try to design something 
that can be made for this. <clears throat> Almost professionally, I would say. So we'll stick that Edelbrock 750 back on here. Uh, just because it it works and it will back this car out of the garage. All right, well, I don't know if a lot of people know, but I, I'm like a CAD designer for a living. Um, right now I have kind of not a designer role, but that's to give me the freedom to try and do my own thing. Um, so let's get, let's get going on that. Um, <clears throat> we're going to draw this in CAD and we're going to have it professionally cut out and it'll need some massaging by hand, but this is something that will be possibly available to other people that need to have their Mach 1 manifold adapted. I believe the original carburetor is an Autolite 4300. D? I don't know. Never seen one. And I've heard they're a real bugger to have rebuilt and working. Um, so this would be a good option for people, I think. <clears throat> if there's any of these around anymore. So I plan on um, possibly going live on my computer drawing some of this stuff up. So if anybody wants to watch that, they're welcome to do that. Um, I don't know. It's gonna be a trial run. So it's probably just gonna be on YouTube. I don't know if I have any software to stream on multiple platforms, um, like Rumble and Odyssey, but We'll start on YouTube, see how it goes, and uh, go from there. All right, so I kind of wanted to demonstrate how this thing was installed on the car and how bad it was. Um, I always kind of noticed that uh, I never really felt the four barrels kick in on this car. And the reason being is, you can see here, the secondaries are overlapped. So they, they couldn't even open, like barely. I didn't, even, I didn't even get full throttle really on the, in the primaries. That was bad, just bad. So, plan is to make a part to replace this so probably try to stay within this thickness but I bet you I can't I bet you I gotta go taller well maybe not I just want to make sure I have room for um, room for that butterfly. I'm also noticing that this hole feels smaller than the opening for the 750 carb. So we'd have to taper that also, unless it might make sense to port port the manifold a little bigger on those that's probably a good idea so yep more fun so I found a company that'll do laser cut stuff um, so my plan is to make like a steel plate thin piece of sheet metal that'll cap off the bottom so you don't get uh, exhaust gas 
heat burn in stuff. Um, and then from there, they also have phenolic material. So I'll have that laser cut um, as to the design. I'll let you see that as it comes in online on the live feed. But this is going away and hopefully the car runs better afterwards. Um, see here that it looks like I had an exhaust leak and it always did sound like it was ticking on that side of the car. <clears throat> and I always had like backfiring when I let off the gas, but it only seemed to come from one side of the, of the car. So I bet you air is leaking in through here. I don't know. Let's just fix the problem and get on with life. 